but like I, I was just reminded about a time where I left a place where I was a hero. Everybody was like, "Oh, Manuel's so great!" Blah blah blah. The small, the big fish in the small pond, and you know, and and then I got thrown in an environment where everybody was like batting a thousand, which in a way was nice because you're finally around like you know higher caliber people, but also you stop getting that praise that you thought you didn't need. Um, and then when you not only don't get it, but then get uh, some criticism, you don't know how to handle it. And that's where I was at. Um, and I remember really touring with that because I was like, man, I told myself I didn't need this. And but now I feel like I kind of need a little bit of it. And, and then full circle, you know, getting back to a place in an environment where people are willing to acknowledge certain things as well as my own group, right? Because I kind of had to like learn, don't be so focused on getting that and just do your best and so on and so forth. And then I was doing that again. And then when someone does comment on now, like the, the pastor at the church, you know, with this new position, um, like me, in, me doing a one day a week interim communication director, I come to the church one day a week and everything else I do is like emails and phone calls and, and, and jumping in. And he was like, you know, it's surprising what you've been able to do um, in this position. And, and I like what's happening, blah, blah, blah. And I was simultaneously like, you know, you know, I, like it didn't, you know, that sweet spot of like, I was very appreciative to hear that, although that was not the goal, right? Like I was just focused on like doing my, do my rep. You know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do my best at it, and do the little things to to make it work. With that one day a week that I'm coming in, and um, and so when you do get that confirmation, you know, from a person, it's like okay, I'm I'm going in the right direction. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just kind of want to share that. So so Manuel, thanks for sharing that because it it, it brought me back to how I was feeling a couple months ago. So, um, and, it, and it all deals with self-reflection, right? Just being honest and having an honest assessment of one's abilities. Um, Cause I was like that, you know, super rock star at my job. And a couple months ago, something shifted, right? Now I can't do nothing right. And I went from being, that's the guy you need to emulate to, you can't chew gum and walk a straight line at the same time. And I had to really, I, I was like blaming everybody else but myself. But after I sat down and prayed and really did a self-evaluation, I said, this is, this, is, this is what I need to advance to the next level because I've never really received criticism before. And or constructive feedback, depending on your mindset. So um, for me, it was a learning moment uh, just to take take feedback and really just, okay, now I need to shift and reapply myself. And, and that's really helped me in just about in every area because I'm not always walking into the room thinking I know everything, as opposed to I can learn something. And, um, you know, even in my Christian walk, you know, there's so much I, I need to learn and, and absorb. So I, I really appreciate you sharing that. Thank you. No problem. No doubt. No doubt. And um, it's yeah, funny. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, I love that, like, you know, uh, the I know everything mindset versus I can learn something, you know. Um, one thought, I wasn't sure how this was going to tie in until literally y'all, y'all just did that little exchange. And I'm, it's funny cause I'm pointing this way cause that's where one person is on my screen. And then I'm pointing this way because that's where one other person is on my screen. Um, <laughs> until y'all did that little exchange. Um, I was thinking earlier about a verse and I didn't know if it fit in to this discussion today until y'all just did that, which is, um, Galatians chapter one, verse 10. And I think it kind of puts a nice little neat bow on our discussion for today um and it says for do i now persuade men or god 
or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. I mean, I don't even want to. I don't even want to put no sauce on it. Like that. Like that's just guy. Like being like, boom, bam. Like that's the walk off home run. Like everybody just shut it down. Like you know what I mean. That's just him doing what he does. And but but I, you know I just will say like I think that's that's really sort of the, sort of the bottom line. You know when we're talking about making a name for ourselves, whether or not um, people will perceive us a certain way. You know I think it's one thing to have a good name and be well spoken of. It's another to be trying to angle for that, where that's what your your ambition, your drive is to to like, will will you approve of me? Will you approve of me? And I'm saying I'm just as guilty. I'm saying I'm just as guilty. Like I everybody everybody struggles with that on some level. You want people to perceive you a certain kind of way. Um, I don't care what it is, how how it is. It can be you know the the, it's, the scripture says the little fox is spoiled of vines. It can be something that like is so you know, you would dismiss it, you know, because by everybody else's uh, estimation, like, oh, no, he doesn't struggle with, you know, people pleasing. He's, he seems pretty self-assured and self-confident. I promise you, everybody under the sun, you know, under the sun has it on some level. So again, just redirecting our focus that we're not to try to persuade men, but God, we're not to try to convince men of who we are and that kind of thing. Ultimately, we have to give our account for how we live to God who gave us life and, and breath.